Okay, so we're going to graph an f of y parabola on a t-ion spire, which means a sideways parabola, an x equals parabola. So to do that, hit your menu key and go to graph entry and choose the equation. You can choose a parabola and we want the sideways one. We want the x equals a times y minus k squared plus h vertex form. And so we're going to put in something real generic there, like 1, 0, 0, and press enter. And so we have this parabola. I always recommend getting rid of the label. So if you right click on it on a Mac, I think that's control click, or sometimes a two finger click and hide it. So that gets out of the way. Notice you get two different icons. If you hover over near the vertex, you can move this parabola. Um, the, you move the whole parabola. And so I'm going to try to do the side of this eye here. Um, so I'm going to put the vertex right about there. And then if you grab it on the side, you can actually change the uh, width of this. And so uh, you can get it looking uh, pretty good there. Um, you can, again, if you can kind of tweak it, get it, move it around so you're happy with it. That's pretty good. Um, again, you can actually make this thicker. Right click and choose attributes and make it thicker if you'd like to. So that, that may look better in this case. So I wanted just to use this little part of this uh, parabola right here, just this little part here. So I'm going to kind of restrict this. Well, here's where the problem lies. So I don't want this whole problem. I want to restrict the problem. So I'm going to. Um, open this up in the entry line. Um, by hand, what I would do is copy down um, this equation. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to cut and paste it and get it to my smart notebook software here. So you want to write this down by hand, and then by hand you need to solve this equation for uh, y. So to do that, I'm going to move the 0 0.31 over, so it'll be x minus 0 0.31 equals uh, 0.32 times y minus 1.7 squared. I'm going to divide by 0 0.32. That cancels. I'm going to take the square root of both sides. Don't forget plus or minus on one side. And see, let's see, on the left, I've got uh, plus or minus square root of all that. Don't try to simplify it. Point three two is what that's supposed to be there. Um, equals uh, y minus 1.7. To get the 1.7 to the other side, you need to add it. So 1.7 plus or minus all that. So now I've got this equation, which I can then type into my TI Inspire. <clears throat> so I'm going to go back to my Inspire. I'll open up the entry line. And I really don't want a parabola there, so I want to be able to do uh, my own parabola graph entry, menu graph entry function. I want to type it as a function here. So I'm going to type in uh, my function, and I'm going to press enter. And it should graph it there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete by clicking on this and hitting delete. I'm going to delete the original parabola. I, you can see I've got half of the parabola. It's, it's this half right here. Um, so I'm going I'm to hide this. I really don't need that. I'm going to make the attributes a little thicker so you can see this a little better. And now I can restrict this. Um, so what I'm going to do there is, again, open this up. And it looks like I want a restriction from... So you hit, hit Control equals, choose the vertical bar, and I can put my restriction in here. It looks like I want this from uh, like 0.5 to, to 1 maybe, or x less than 1. So I'm going to say x control equals is how I get my inequalities, less than 1. You see that's not too bad. It looks like I went a little too far there, so I'm going to, I'm going to tweak that. Again, you, you click on this, it opens up the entry line, maybe, uh, maybe 0.8. Oh, that's not too bad. 
So I've got that little piece there. Then I'll open up that tree line again. And I'll type in that equation, except this time I'm going to put a minus. And let's graph that, see what that looks like. Okay. And hit control equals. And I want that one from, say, 1.7, x less than 1.7. See how that looks. Let's hide this. Let's make this a little thicker so I can see it better. You can also right click on something and make it and change the color so I can make it the same color as the other line. Still looks, it's going too far there. 1.7 is definitely too far. Uh, maybe 1.4 would be better. Still a little too far, maybe 1.25. That's not too bad. Um, you get it as good as you look, maybe 1.2. Okay. Now, the only problem you see here, and this happens on TI Inspire every once in a while, is um, <clears throat> you really have a little gap between the two. Uh, the two halves of the parabola here. And so to avoid that, to make it look better, um, I will allow you to use this uh, little trick here. So when I do something fine-tuned like this, I might um, change the view. So if you go up to the very top, um, let me see this so you can see this. Um, if you go to the very top and go to View and choose Document Preview, oops, go to computer view. So this just kind of bumps up um, the detail work that I can do on this. You can see that I, I want to connect these two graphs, graph F1 and graph F2, with a line. And so um, I will allow you to do this only for vertical lines. So if you click this, you can see all the, all the commands here. And I'm going to go to geometry, points and lines, segment. I'm going to connect the very end of this one to the very end of this one and draw a straight vertical line. And so if you hit escape, I'm going to change the uh, segment there color to be blue. So it kind of shows up. I'm going to uh, hide the point. Hide the point. I'm also going to make the segment attributes a little bit thicker, medium thickness, just like that line. And now I'm going to change it back to the original view, the handheld view. And you can see it looks pretty good. Um, there's a straight, tiny little straight line that connects those two and it makes it look uh, pretty good. And just so you can see it, if I right click and select the image and then right click and delete the image, you see I've got a portion I've got a portion of an f of y parabola in there. Uh, by the way, to put the image back, you just hit the undo button on your software, and there it is. But you can see we accomplished a pretty good feat. We matched it to the side of the eye there. I uh, restricted it, and we made it look good. If it doesn't meet, sometimes it doesn't, uh, depending on the f of y parabola there. So we uh, put a little segment in there to make it look better, hid the endpoints of the segment, and now everything looks great.